New day, new opportunities for these two teams. We're here at Pelakele for match nine of the Mazda Play Lanka Premier League. It's uh, Candy Falcons taking on the Gold Gladiators. So excited for this uh, matchup at the toss. It was uh, the Gold Gladiators that won and elected to bat first. Not surprisingly, these are the two teams. Candy Falcons going into this uh, contest unchanged from their last game. Beg your pardon, Ashan Priyanjan. That one change. And he's in for Fabian Allen. And Gold Gladiators, of course, uh, the unchanged team coming off a win of their last encounter. And that was against Colombo Stars. So we should have an intense contest on our hands for this match nine. Openers making their way out into the middle. Look at Kusal Mendes. That strike rate is brilliant. 14192. He would love to have a hundred. Tanuko Dabre playing his second game today. Isurudana. Retired in international cricket but still performing in franchise cricket. 19 game in his LPL career. And very good conditions for T20 cricket. As we get set for the first delivery of this match nine. In there should be taken in the deep. It is. That's a soft dismissal. A gentle loosener. And Kusal Mendes half hard. If he had gone through with it, I'm pretty sure he would have cleared it. Gone for one go, two runs for one wicket. In and amongst uh, the many sponsors of this league, that's a direct hit. That's a direct hit. Is that another one for the Candy Falcons? Roll it. Keep rolling. Absolutely beautiful. What a beauty. After we've complimented his style of play and his performances recently, he gets this pitch from Udana. To the right hand, but just held its line. And the feet going nowhere, playing on the crease. That's what the fall down of Lairu Dara. Neither back, neither full. The perfect line by Udana. Udara gone for five, goal nine for two. Oh, that has to be out. It has to be out. It was as plumb as it could get. He's referred it. Ball taking coming up. On the addition, he's out. Pitching outside off. Impact in line because hitting. Can give it on field umpire. And stay with your on original addition of out. Right now you can make a signal. Azam Khan, got one, goal, 10 for three. Might be eight, yes! Straight away, wicket to wicket, he's on a hat-trick now. He doesn't believe it. If the car just hit it down, just pick the lone fieldsman. Just look at this again, Maha, I felt that he could have hit it a little bit harder. It would have been six. If the car armoured out of the very first delivery without scoring, the 10 for four. Maybe with the exception of Udara. Oh, that's short. That is dispatched. There's two men back for the left side boundary. Tanuka must have said after seeing that length. And he dispatched it in a grand fashion for the first six. Wind or no wind, that length is going. to make a statement, and he does. Good use of the feet. It's even bigger. Now that's a very, very good shot to end the seventh. 17 runs in uh, the seventh over. Just what they needed. That's the last shot in that last over. Yeah, the previous one before that was a shot pitch delivery. And the ball got hit for a six. If not, how are you going to get going now? That's an even better shot. Straight through the legs of Hasaranga. He didn't have time to react. That's angled down the leg side. Doesn't even have to hit it. Just helps it along its way. They don't really need to get extravagant. 
pace of the ball hit behind point for four the first delivery Zaur Khan dragging it down that's gone fine fine leg inside the circle this is not a great spell by Zaur Khan he was excellent in the previous games haven't really looked to take on the bowling Brad Pitt gets a healthy edge and down to third man for four short delivery that's four that's a vacant area square leg but no fine leg fine leg is inside the 30 yard circle line it's the line he's very good at 12 off that over it's a good platform the 50 is up for Nune to Fernando with five fours it's 170 on 48 or 40 the moment he gets to that 50 I'm sure he gets there now that's the boundary a very good half century for Tanukodabre it's his third in T20 cricket and the first in the LPL it's a fabulous partnership between these two youngsters given that's the partnership breakup is Rudana with the slower fuller one gets noon into fernando but he's asked for the review ball tracking coming up ordinary decision is out pitching in line impact in line because hitting and giving the on-field umpire decision upheld a wonderful half century to the youngster he's given his team some hope 123 for five Gets that up and over. That'll be four. Good start to the over from Tanukadabare. Oh, he's clubbed that. He's clubbed that fast. Misfield in the deep. Should have done better. Up and over. Coming to Mendes. Oh, gets a hand to it, but cannot keep it in. It's six. Zia for a bat at this stage of the innings. To score runs off this type of delivery should have been pace off if you're going pace on probably short at the batter might be the way to go but he pays a heavy price for that delivery slow delivery into the gap one bounce over the boundary line what a big over for the gladiators it is gets it over that's a good hit Hasaranga cannot get to it. That's the 150. Well, not the boundary. Imad Wasim will keep running. Yes, direct hit. Batum Nisanka fires it in from the boundary, but it doesn't matter. He had to go anyway. A very, very good knock from Tanuka Dabre. Run out of the last ball. Dabre. Have certainly brightened up things for Gold Gladiators. That was a fantastic piece of uh, fielding from the Sanka. Geez, they'll be doing cartwheels in that dressing room, I'll tell you, because from 4 for 10 to 153, you're very much in the game. Carlos Brathwaite helping his team containing the opposition to 153 feels they can get these runs. That's what they need. 154. The chase on the other side now it's time for the candy falcons uh, andre fletcher he's a powerful striker he's already got a hundred in this uh maza lanka premier league and patum nisanka 119 that's right Ray. that's not bad he's got a role to perform that's nisanka and now we Imad Wasim, very good at the top. Look at that economy over a period of 268 games 6.55 Well bowled, red card boy. Mad no, of course, uh, well adept to opening the bowling in T20 cricket. We've seen him do it for Pakistan. 
that's nicely done just using the pace on that occasion Trip Fletcher oh he did and what a catch that was acrobatic not easy that foot went nowhere but look at that look at that Fletcher goes for eight first one falls 12 for one It's just eluded the man at uh, a very straight mid wicket. Mahanama, I would say. Edged. Oh, falling short of the fielder. Very lucky. Come in, Domandis. Top edge here. Pato Misanka just helped on its way. The final delivery of the power play. Digged in short by Nwan Pradeep. And uh, Pato Misanka. That's in the gap. Hit hard for. gonna give is it wickets or runs you need to get a move on Catch it. top edge Luan Pradeep oh, yeah. oh he hangs on to it that's the wicket but in the end just because the top edge idea was right field was there to be uh, attacking but uh, Luan Pradeep the veteran hangs on to it and son again quite pleased Amit Mendes gone for nine can be 41 for two down the ground, no one there. One bounce for four. Last ball of the tenth. Catch him. <laughs> gets him, gets him, they get the wicket. He came out to play his shots. And he's got himself out. So that'll take the wind out of the Falcons. One Hasaranga gone for six. Falcons are 50 for three. Catch him. That's in the air and what a catch. What a catch. Well, let's pace off the ball and spinners doing the job once again in the middle part of the innings. Just looking to nudge that down to mid on. Leading edge, but what a good catch. Nisanka looked good. Gone for 29. Candy now 52 for 4. They want a second. They're coming back for 2. The throw to the ball is in. And that has to be out. That has to be out. This is Ashen Bandara. He's generally very quick between wickets, but that has to be out. Yeah, Imad Wasim yes, took the pace off. Very short of his the ground. fielder had to attack the, the ball, ran in fast, and aimed it correctly. Three wickets for them in no time. He has to walk back. And the gladiators on top. It's 55 for five. I was talking about the other one, and now this one is good too. That shot. It's gone down to long on, taken at long on. Oh, in fact, it's dropped, I think. For a moment, I thought it was taken. Well, the catch not taken, but the running in between the wickets is non-existent, actually. Plenty of an opportunity to get to the other side. Every run crucial. There is a safe fielder, Anwar Ali. He indicated to the umpire, I'm not sure whether I held it cleanly or not. Right. Okay. Ball has been clearly dropped. I have a decision for the giant screen. My D. Pretty straightforward for the third umpire. Short delivery. This time taken in the deep. Well, well, well. The very next delivery. Tried to hit the ball over mid wicket, but hold out. Bradford was walking back after contributing four. It's 70 for six. Back pass the bowler. Much more of this is needed in this run chase. And again. That's in the gap. 
That's great. Great innovation. Good thinking. Slapped. Offside. He's been covered. Slices this time through extra cover. And Tanuko Dabare does the fielding. Oh, better throw and probably Nuan Tushar behind the stumps. Would have had that Chami Karnaratna in trouble. I'm pretty sure the umpire. Is he going upstairs? Yeah, he's going upstairs. Just to double check. Rolling. Okay, the best one has clearly made his ground. Confirmation of the decision. Down the ground, four. Oh! Flies through the hands of the fielder in short third. He'll get four more consecutive boundaries now for Karuna Ratna. It's a better response. Might be run out, yes! He's short. Suicidal second run. And the umpire will just go upstairs to double check. Okay, roll it. Okay. Because they've been broken. The best one is short of his ground. I have addition for the giant screen. A good throw on the bounce, but that's a very good knock though. 32 or 15. 126 for seven, the Candy Falcon. Straight hit. Will it have enough to go all the way? Yes, it does. That's six runs taken away. Beautiful shot. It's all about timing, keeping his shape. Yeah, beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful. Because it's not easy. He's angling it into the body. Now, there's no one in the deep on the offside other than long off. And there it is. A famous victory for goal gladiators. What an effort this has been. The balance of power, of power has shifted to and fro in this match. And in the end, it's the gladiators that conquer and secure further two points. Just like the first two years of the LPL, when they get the momentum, they won't let that go. Captain Kusal Mendes leading from the front. He was excellent in controlling his troops. Bowling changes have been excellent. Minus a few drop catches, I thought. This gladiators team was up for it against the table toppers, which is the Candy Falcons. In the end, a comprehensive win. 113 partnership between two youngsters gave them something to bowl at. And they come out and defend. The two spinners in the middle overs doing a wonderful job. Kusal Mendes, other than getting the over eight penalty up his sleeve, controlled things pretty well. Wickets all the time. Patum Nisanka couldn't get going. 29 of 32. And those wickets early were the problem. Ashen Bandara, 41 of 30. Did a decent job. And Karuna Ratna, well, as long as he was out there, the Candy Falcons thought they were going to get their fourth win. Bowling for the Gladiators. Well, everyone chipped in in the matter the most. One Pradeep, though he went for 34 runs, in the matter the most delivered under pressure. Nuan Tushar and the spinners was excellent in uh, controlling stuff and making sure Gladiators win. So look at uh, this match line in the Mazda LPL. Gold Gladiators after a very, very difficult start. They managed a partnership of 113. That was between Tanuka Dabare and Wanindu Fernando. And they got their batting back on track to get to 153. And the Falcons, well, they flew high for a moment. And then they were grounded. Gladiators winning by 12 runs. So two points for goal Gladiators. They secure their second win in this competition. They move to third on the standings. Candy Falcons still at the top with uh, six points. And Jaffna Kings, of course, they're the team on second and will fit in the next match as second of this doubleheader day. Dambula Aura still without points in the tournament.